Hey everybody. Hello, happy Wednesday. Surprise, dinner with the Duns. <laughs> I'm sure we will not have a lot of people in here tonight because I did a What I Ate Wednesday and so people aren't going to be expecting a dinner with the Duns. But honestly, this was not planned. I was not going to do a dinner tonight at all, but then I had so many people say that they missed it that I figured that we would uh, we would have it. Thanks, Zach. For Zach, you know. yes, thank you. We always wonder, can you see us? Can you, yeah, can you hear us? Um, well, Doug's family, thanks for joining us for the first time. I appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you. And Bobby, I saw your comment about you loved the 80s thing today. I'm glad that you enjoyed that. Um, who else? I saw Jean and April and Elaine, uh, Madison, Pixie's in here. Jacob said he can only stay for a little bit. That's okay. You can watch it. You can watch it tomorrow. Thank you, Stephanie. That was nice. You know, somebody said the same thing in a comment today that I had said to you. They said, now Kevin should do it. And I, I didn't, I haven't responded to them yet, but I told Kevin, I said, you should do it. Kevin grew up in a completely different way than I did. Um, so Kevin had a lot of home cooked meals all day long. And so Kevin doesn't feel like he can really recreate. Well, I mean, and no, I mean, for lunch, I, I may have had peanut butter and jelly or something like that, but it's hard. I just don't remember a lot of the meals I had. It I mean, doesn't. I know I vaguely remember some of the meals mom cooked, but they were all, you know, like pork chops. And, and for me, uh, every memory, them. I have every memory, everything that happens to me centers around food. I remember what food I was having at that time. He's not like that. Just don't it's just not that important to him. And for some reason, it is to me. So, thank you, Shelby. Uh, Jersey and the Will, channel. I'm glad you could come in then, Will. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I hate when I spill chili. Elaine said she spilled chili dog on her shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you'll have fun getting that out. Well, tonight we're eating the Stouffer's. We've never had this before. It actually uh, says it's new, too. It so. says new. I don't know how long it's been out. It is the Creative Comforts Basil uh, Pomodoro, which means tomato in Italian. Oh. It just means tomato. So basil, tomato, pasta, and chicken. So we're having this, and this is a, it says it's a family size meal. It's supposed to feed three, uh, have three and a half servings. But we just divided it up, and Kevin added. I added parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Just because I like parmesan cheese. So it has fettuccine and a basil pomodoro sauce with grilled white meat chicken topped with real mozzarella cheese. It looks, you can smell the basil in it, like really. Yeah, strong. it's strong. So if so you don't I'm, like basil, I don't think you would probably like no. this. And you bake it in the oven, or you can microwave it. Jane said she remembered having the chocolate milk. Oh yes. And sometimes I would not only have it for breakfast, I would have it after, like during the school year, I would have it after school. So, yeah, this is really good. Mm, that's got a good flavor to it. Um, you know, see, I would, go ahead. Go, no, you go ahead. Mm. What? It's well, mushier than I thought it would be. The pasta's cooked a little softer, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all I was going to say is I remember having chocolate and strawberry milk yeah. growing up, but I don't, I think it was just one of those random, you know, occasionally I'd get a cup. You know, it wasn't, for, it wasn't like it was all the time. For me, it's daily. And like Gavin, um, uh, Andrew gives Gavin chocolate milk every chance he gets. They love. Because you hooked them on it. Yes, they <laughs> love chocolate milk. Haley, I just honestly decided spur of the moment to do this. We went to Walmart today and bought this, this afternoon. And we were like, okay, what do we want to have for dinner? Because... I said earlier, I wasn't going to have one today. I had no intentions of doing it. But then I got so many people saying they missed it that I thought, well, I'll do it. I wanted to skip a few weeks because, I don't know, I feel like you all are going to get tired of this. You're, it, it, you're, it's going to get old. And I don't want every week for, for you all to have to sit through the people that come in every week. I don't want you all to have to sit through the same questions and hear the same answers. So I thought, well, we'll do it just once every once in a little while. 
and that way it won't get stale. That's that's my feeling about it. Is it Bobby Gula Mama? Yes, that's Bobby. It, yeah, that store would be dangerous, especially if it was close to us, since it's almost a two-hour drive. Not quite so dangerous. It'll be a little while before we go back. Because there was literally, I think we could have we could have bought a different kind of ice cream and had a different kind of ice cream every night for probably a month solid. Oh, at least. At, at least 30 different kinds of ice creams if we wanted to pick one. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing how much frozen stuff that It had. was awesome. I, I would have loved to have bought all those It makes you items. wonder why a store like that isn't around here, like in Lexington or Louisville or something. I know, because it would do really well, especially in Louisville. Like a big multi-purpose market yeah. like that that has a little bit of everything. It would do really well. Not even well. the country stuff. The country stuff's cool, but I'm mean just talking about a big freezer section and a really big mm. um, refrigerated section that has stuff from all over the place, all over right. the United States, not even necessarily overseas. Right. Um, Madison said I had her... Um, I love Probably it when they on. use Italian words to try to make someone. Yeah, it, they were trying to make it seem fancy. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Madison said it had her craving chocolate milk. Uh, it I smelled good when she milk. made it because I'm sitting there filming, going, "That smells really good." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And now we have it up in the cabinet for Gavin when he wants some because he's he asked for some last time he was here, and it's like I don't even have any. Mm -hmm. Philly cheesesteak and a baked potato. That's that good. box spaghetti. Yeah, Mom used to make it all the time. And then there, I was telling Kevin there was another kind that she made, and it came in a box like that, but it was small squares, and I didn't see like it. Like a pasta? Or? Yeah, it was a pasta. It, it was little bitty squares of pasta, and it had some seasonings. It was had a lot of seasoning in it, and I don't remember what it was. My mom and dad never did that. My, my dad, I'm sure, would remember, but I didn't see it. Matter of fact, truth be told, I don't even know that I knew that existed until we got married. Not that you ever made it. You never made it either. No, but you I've had never, talked about, never made it. You had talked about your mom making it. Yeah. And uh, Tammy's sister used to make the the um, pizza, the mm -hmm. box pizza mix. Where you, I think, don't you make your dough and everything? Yeah. Put water in the dough? Yeah. Me, I'm just too lazy for that. I'd rather just go buy it <laughs> already made. My, my sister... Um, she was married to this guy who was very inventive with um, his pizzas. He would put Velveeta and everything on it. And she, would, she said it was awesome. Yeah. She said it was very, very good. I mean, it is a good cheese. It's just... Um, I've never had a pizza with Velveeta. Usually, we only buy Velveeta at what time of year? Or was that? We're making broccoli guys. Yeah, right. Thanksgiving. I'm eating Philly cheesesteak and baked yeah. potato. That sounds it good. Like Grand View, Missouri. Hope you all made it through the severe weather. Yeah, it wasn't really bad here. It got windy there for one day. It was really bad wind. Mm -hmm. but, but the other days were okay. Thank you, Tammy. What are your favorite ever chocolate bars? Well, nowadays, it's probably one of my favorite ones is the Sweet and Salty Snickers bar. I still love that one. Um, I like a baby Ruth, too. The Seas, Seas Candy, uh, yeah. Seas Chocolates in California, they have their, um, what is that called? I love it. Sarah has sent me like full boxes. The peanut of, brittle like Yeah, it's like a peanut brittle bar. But it's and, got chocolate on the outside. Yes, yeah. and it is like one of the most awesome, I mean, it's a candy bar, and it's one of the most awesome candy bars I've ever had. Um, I like a good old uh, Butterfinger. I yeah, really that's do. That's never been my favorite um, but now there's been some. I don't like it because it gets all in your teeth. Uh, that we've had from uh, the United Kingdom that were awesome. Cadbury recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were so delicious. Yeah. Um, I got a survey on my, um, I think it was either Twitter or Instagram today. I said, um, if you tried the new Snickers, which was your favorite one? You know, the hot, and I picked the sweet and spicy, right. uh, the sweet and salty. Yeah. And uh, I think like 60% of the people said that was their favorite that one. That was their favorite. Well, I mean, that is the best one. I well, it's more traditional, too, because the other one's kind of spicy. And what was the other one? Um, I don't remember what the other one was. It was um, spicy and then... Hot. There was hot, a heat. Hot and spicy one, but what was the other one? Uh, espresso. Yeah. So, I guess the sweet and spicy, or the sweet and salty is the more traditional of the bunch. Are you getting a lot of chicken in yours? Mm. I'm no. not getting a lot of chicken. Oh, like there's a piece right there. There's a piece. Mm. There's not tons. 
Um, I almost got a, like a ravioli piece for a go, I thought. Shelby, I, I did see cheese. that Flanders cheese balls are coming back, and I've been looking for them. Thank you, Mish Mish. <laughs> what she's done? She said, give this video a thumbs up if you love dinner with the guns. I don't know what that does for it, but hey, I appreciate it. I smelled something this morning. Uh, today's my cleaning day. So I went back in Kevin's bathroom and I turned on the light and I smelled like this really, really strong chemical smell. And I kept smelling it and smelling it. And it smelled like, uh, I told Kevin it smelled like something plastic was burning. And I thought, what in the world could that be? And it, it, it just got stronger and stronger. And I finally turned to the mirror and I glanced up and it was a, uh, a light bulb. One of those new Twirly. light bulbs uh, was going out, and that is how they smell when you're losing them. And it smells horrible. And you're breathing in all these chemicals. I'm sure that I lost brain cells today from <laughs> breathing in some of those chemicals. If that's the case, I lost lots of them because it's just burning electronics. I know that's not healthy. It can't be healthy for it to be that strong. Uh, when you strong. teach electronics to students... You burn a lot of electronics. Well, you don't, but you have to smell a lot of electronics burning because they tend to burn electronics up like crazy. Resistors, capacitors, smoke coming off their boards, explosions. Well, now you're in an area that's bigger, so you shouldn't smell it as much. No, you don't. What is your favorite food from the UK? <laughs> Mr. Kipling's is yours. I like Mr. Kipling. I like just about anything Mr. Kipling makes. But I Mine, also like flapjacks a lot. I really like flapjacks. If you're talking about food like in things that we tried, mm. um, not in a restaurant, probably flapjacks are one of my favorites because I really enjoyed that. Although I really liked that. There was some, um, we had some fudge one time that was really good. We've had so many things that were so We've good. We've had some very good things. But if I'm yeah. just talking about food in general, mm -hmm. um, you can't beat the fish and chips over there. Mm -mm. It really is good. So when they say they're known for fish chips, there's a reason because because they, they do it really well. How was the espresso Snickers? It was good. It, it was a good candy bar. It wasn't my kind of thing. Do you remember Tato Skins or uh, Pete's uh, Pizzeria? How do you say that word? Pizzerias chips from the eighties. I remember the Tato Skins. Mm -hmm. I remember Mom buying the Tato. Those skins. were good. I'm actually thinking those were around. Um, TGI Fridays had one that were similar to those. Remember, Andrew used to like them. Oh, did he? The potato skins. They were just yeah. potato skins from TGI Fridays. I think they still sell those. Those are similar to those, I think, from my memory of them. I don't remember the pizzarias. I know. I I'll have those. to look up a picture of them. Yeah, that. if I saw a picture, I probably would. Dr. J said he just tried the Baby Ruth and the Butterfinger bars the other day imported from the U.S. Yeah, what did you think about them? Yeah, did you like them? I found the cheese balls at Walmart. Shelby, were they over like in the peanut area, like where the normal planters would be? Uh, because I've been looking for them. Cheese balls. Yeah, they're cheese balls, and then they have the like che uh, like uh, Cheetos too. Back in a um, can. The cheese balls. They they haven't had that brand, but they've had like is it Uts or one of those has mm -hmm. had cheese balls for a while. I wonder how much different they are. Adam said he finally made it to dinner. Adam, I have been following this saga with Adam, and you don't know about this, because Kevin doesn't get on Facebook. I get on Facebook. I, do, I refuse you. Okay. <laughs> Adam, I hope Adam doesn't mind me telling this, because, I mean, he put it on Facebook. Now he's scared. What is she going to say? Um, <laughs> he's in the military, and he was stationed in Alaska. And so he's moved back from Alaska and apparently he had, I don't know, he'll probably comment. He, he had like six different crates of stuff. And from they, where? From Alaska. And they lost oh, one. Lord. But they lost one with like his bed. And he had just bought the bed. And Adam, how much did you pay for the bed? Because it was really expensive for this bed. And the last I heard, they had lost the crate with the expensive bed. And they're like... What can we do? No, we never. Have. Oh well, you know he's like. So Adam, you're gonna have to let me know because I'm sure I've missed it because I can't keep up with everything on Facebook. I try. 
Uh, but you're gonna have to let me know. Did they find the crate? Uh, if not, what are they gonna do about it? Because I mean, the poor guy needs his bed. Okay. Bobby said her mom always cooked from scratch, nothing from a box. I was lucky. I didn't have money. I had box macaroni and cheese and stuff, but not we didn't eat a lot of stuff from a box. His mom, uh, and you know, my mom she did still cooks. too. Um, my mom's seventy five years old and still cooks all the time. She does, which is crazy. It's just her and dad. Um, Tammy, Blaze roast chicken chips. Thank you, Claire. Uh, what, what now? What about Lay's? I have oh. no one else over. Lay's okay. roast chicken chips. Oh, we tried those. I don't know. I don't remember. No, I'm in a Pringles. Yeah, I don't know. How's your beans, name? Oh, it, <laughs> um, I stuck a pen in it this morning. <laughs> it looked like. You weren't supposed to get a pen. You said you were just going to squeeze no, I said I'm not going to use my fingers. I'm going to stick a pin in it. You weren't listening. You were on your computer. Well, that's true. I too tend to have a tendency to do that. <laughs> it looked my. I, if you all don't know, I got stung by a wasp yesterday. First time that's ever happened, and um, you'll hear about this in this coming Monday's vlog. Um, but I got stung by a wasp, and it was right over here. And so this morning, it looked like a bump. And so I told Kevin, I said, I'm going to stick a pen in it because it looks bad and see what happens. And so it's still sore to touch it like a bruise. It, that's what it feels like. It feels like a bruise, but I think it's okay. Zach said he's having homemade meatloaf mm -hmm. for dinner. I bet your mom's a good cook. I'm assuming your mom made it. Shelby said the cheese balls were on a separate shelf that they would normally have a holiday candy. So it was in the seasonal aisle. Season. Oh, we didn't go down there. We didn't go down there because, you know, in our Walmart, generally they stick extra stuff. Like they've got an aisle full of cereal, they'll, they'll stick what's left they couldn't stock on the shelf and right. stick it in that aisle. Um, but sometimes I've told Tammy before we need to go down there every once in a while because they do stick like random stuff down there, especially the one in Lexington, the bigger one. Yeah. They always stick new stuff in the like, seasonal aisle. Not always, but they do a lot of times. Our Sunday dinners are pretty boring, actually. <laughs> well, they have been lately. The only time I cook a big meal on Sunday is when we're having people over. I mean, really, we haven't had anything in a mm -hmm. while, have we? Uh, you should try to find the TV shows back in time for tea, back in time for dinner. Oh, that sounds yeah, good, interesting. Good mm. We'd have to look it up on YouTube, I'm sure. I've been loving on um, uh, YouTube. I've been watching uh, Come Dine With Me. I love it. Back in time for dinner? Mm hmm For dinner. And back in time for tea. For tea. Okay. And the retro Wednesday? I might consider it. I would have to really, I might even have to ask my mom. Literally. Um, what I have. Yeah. I just don't have a memory of it. I just don't. I, I blocked my childhood out, I guess. I remember doing things from my childhood. I just don't remember everyday things, you know, like mm -hmm. what we ate and things like that. Mm. Um, Good night, Katie. Alice. Hi, Alice. Adam's beautiful fiance, Alice. Have you found the marshmallow peanut butter and light ice cream? No. It's funny you mentioned that because um, I follow somebody. She, I don't know if she's in here or not. Kim. Um, and she just found it today. But she does not like marshmallows, so she didn't care for it. I think she just wanted to try it, you know. Um, even though it said marshmallows, she wanted to try it. But I, I love marshmallows, so I, I, I'm sure I would love it. My Facebook is... You go to Facebook and type in Tammy Dunn YouTube, all one word, and that's my Facebook uh, page. And I'm I say good night. Yeah, Adam's bed, $5,500. No, sleep number, wow. Still and it's missing. still missing. Along with two TVs, a printer, my bike. Oh my gosh. So, what Adam. kind of crate was this in? Was it one of these, like, um, I don't know. 
Was it one of these where you, you you get the storage thing and you put a bunch of stuff in it and they put it on a truck and they take off? Um, I can't remember what that was. A pod. Yeah, like a pod. Was it in a pod? Yeah. Was that was only two months old, too. That size. Oh, that's awful. He said he should have known not to buy it right before he left. Yes. <laughs> no, it's still horrible that they lost it. That's not your fault. The baby root tasted a bit plasticky, but it's super warm in the UK, and it was soft. Butterfinger reminds me of peanut brittle, yeah, but extra sugary, Yum. yes. Cadbury. Yeah, because, <laughs> see, you, I, we're so used to super sweet things. Yeah, it's different. It's definitely different. Pixie was asking Adam, how could, how did they lose a bed? You know, then again, most Cadbury that we've tried, I think is almost, I think they're, very sweet. I think they're almost as sweet as what we have I do. Here. I think they're, the ones that have been sent to us from the United mm -hmm. Kingdom, I think they're very sweet. And from Australia? Dad made it. The meatloaf. That's so nice of your dad to That's do That's what that. I usually, I always made the meatloaves mm -hmm. and uh, oh, yeah. meatballs and all that stuff. Do you guys live on a ranch? No, nah, I'm yeah. too lazy to take care of a ranch. No, we live right in the middle of town. Our street is like probably the one of the busiest. It's not the busiest, but it's one. It's a very busy street we live on. I say we are one of the busiest residential streets. Residential, yes, I would say if you for a residential street, we are the busiest residential yeah. street. Um. Oh, it's um Brian. He says he's actually off for once. Oh. Oh, good. good have we haven't seen you for a while, Brian. A little while. Team and I, mom. I what? saw where Rachel's been on vacation having a good time without you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you I've watch never Teen watched Teen Mom? mom. I've never watched Teen Mom. Never seen it. Well, back, back in time for dinner. I will look that up. Yeah, we'll have to look it up. What happened to the bunny in Monday's vlog. The little baby bunny. Oh, well listen, what Kevin... I wish I had taped it, but what, I didn't know she was going to try again. What Kevin did not get on video... <laughs> listen, it was the... If you all don't know, I had a vlog on Monday. That I tried to pick up this little bunny rabbit. It was a baby. It was, was this big. I actually got a hold of it, and I picked it up, and it went... Yeah, this has made the golf. It was a loud noise in and, the world. And, and it hopped. Hopped out right out of my hands. And it hopped into the grass uh, where it came from. So I did not try to get it anymore. And the guy that was there, he was in the backyard. and um, We told him. We told the, the guy. But he said, I'm amazed. Uh, I just mowed the yard. I'm amazed I didn't see it. So... Yeah. So that's that's so dangerous having the, the little bunnies in high grass and then somebody goes to mow the grass. But as far as I know, it's fine. Um, yes, uh, come yeah, come down with me. That's what I've been watching, and I love it. Have you all ever? Where are we at? Oh, when you give a coffee mug as a present, do you leave it in the package or? take it out and put the coffee mug in a gift bag if i'm going to give it as the present i would leave it in the package for example when assuming someone, it comes with a package yeah if it comes with a package i would leave it in the package like yeah. if someone when people send me those starbucks you are here mugs or been there mugs they leave them in the boxes yeah. um but it also helps protect them a little bit too. Yeah, it's it adds protection. Um, but because if you've been around at our Christmases, the boxes get knocked around and banged, and yeah, I would give it to that person in the box. Yeah, and, and but like we've bought stuff for Andrew cups for Andrew before, and we've just had to put paper around them because they didn't come with right. Box. Exactly. Have you all ever tried red lentil pasta? No, mm -hmm. never, never tried it. Oh, he said thank you. Hi from Good Illinois. Boy. Milka is one extremely sweet European. I love Milka. Mm -hmm. I think Milka is probably my favorite uh, for candy bars. Milka is probably my favorite brand. No. He said it's like a pod. Okay. That's what I figured. To but lose they, that much stuff. They float it. So someone is out in the middle of the sea on Adam's bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Mm -hmm. uh, Belmont Junior High, mine and Jennifer's class for the last. Uh, I didn't know that. 
What's that? He said that he and Jennifer uh, were in the, the last, last eighth grade class to attend the school before it was. And you know, that still breaks my heart that they tore that we down. We went and watched them tear it down the uh, last school it, it just breaks my heart because it, it was such an awesome school. I think my favorite, my very favorite memories from school came from probably um, the last bit of Hannah McClure, but then... Uh, Junior high. I loved junior high. Uh, I don't remember junior high. Every day. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to go. It was it was a pleasure to go. And then I got to high school, and it was horrible. I hated high school. It was the worst four years. I didn't learn a thing. Um, you mentioned about chocolate. You were expecting it to be less sugar than North America. It depends on where in Europe you go, too, because we have gotten some chocolate over there that wasn't sweet. I mean, not even at the least bit. At all. Um, Some then, white chocolate that doesn't uh, taste white anything like, like white yeah, chocolate. You, it's, just, it's completely different. Um, it's just funny how it is. Um, you know, uh, what you could have done, Adam, if, if you knew about how long it was going to be, you could have stuck an iPhone in there and turned on Find My iPhone, and it would have tracked your phone wherever it was. They should have trackers on those, shouldn't they? You would think they would, but... Somebody needs to invent that and get a lot of money and then yeah, get for your, some. for when stuff gets shipped. Yes, they Something need a tracker last. to put in the container and, and then... that's going to last for about two weeks. And then they can be like, okay, Adam had six. Okay, this is number five. Where's number five? And they can look at it. Or something Somebody you can needs buy, to do Something that. you can buy yourself and stick in each one. Yeah. Yes. Of course, you don't want to use it every once in a while. Somebody totally needs to invent that. That would be awesome. Somebody said, uh, told Adam to watch Storage Wars. They might have your container for auction. <laughs> we used to watch that all the time until we found out that it was... All set up. A lot yeah, of it's, uh, it's a lot of it set up, unfortunately, because we loved it. Have you started uh, Christmas shopping yet? I started Christmas shopping the day after Christmas last year. Yeah, literally. We go out... Well, it's a couple of days afterwards. We go out. Yeah, and look we for, wait a few days. We go out and look for stuff on sale. Um, the, <laughs> I've, yes, I, let's yes. put it this way: we have because we we store stuff in the attic and it gets dust, dusty and dirty up there. So we went and bought plastic totes that are probably what. If you follow the vlogs, I showed them. In okay. A, in a, I think I showed them in a grocery haul. So anyway, it's this huge plastic totes, and you got three. I got five. Three did you get that I got one for Christina, Andrew, Gavin, yeah, Amelia, Amelia, Ashley, and then I got a miscellaneous one okay. for your parents. Well, they're awful. But that one's small. They're awful. They're all overflowing. We've had to put they're stuff on top of yes. them. Yes, they weren't yeah. big enough. So, yes, we have a lot uh, bought. And any time that... But we try to buy stuff on sale. We try to get stuff on sale. Exactly. Just like recently, I've seen some Lego sets on sale. And so it's like, you know, this is the time to get them. Yeah. Why are the, I don't know why they're getting rid of some of these sets, but they are. So, you know, they're not super cheap, but they're cheaper than full price. Yeah. So, yes, Christmas shopping. And that's how we can get so much for not spending a fortune because we do get stuff on sale. Yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. I've been through Atlanta. Atlanta, we've, we've only there. experienced the airport, the airport. <laughs> and I do not like the airport in in Atlanta. I hate going. To, I will try. I would love to be able to to just avoid that airport completely. But Is that the moment they're always so rude. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're horrible. I don't know why. Um, but I don't think all of um, Atlanta's like that. But it's just the airport in particular. Um, we just, they haven't been the kindest people there. Um, but we would like to visit, I, I would like to visit, uh, there's a lot of places down in Georgia that I would like to see that's mm -hmm. beautiful. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Adam said some dolphin is sleeping well. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, hello from North Carolina, South Bend, Indiana. Did you watch The Closer? No, I've never seen that. Mm -hmm. I've, Thank you, I've Kathy. Seen, I've seen the previous one, but I've never watched it. Have you ever tried milk candy or coffee candy? They seem to be very, very popular categories. I've, um, I think we've been we've tried milk candy. I'm not sure about coffee, but but I, yeah, milk. Yes, I hated high school. Uh, yeah, I just high school is just I don't know. It was just high school is one of those times when I was just trying to get through. Yeah, you just. 
you just want to get through and your parents just want you to get that diploma and get out um, see it's so different over in Europe and someone here could comment if they want to but they you know they don't they don't have to go I don't believe that you have to go for the full 12 years I think it's a little different in their high school their their last years of because if they're going to college yeah they do things differently there um uh, would you guys be into doing a swap UK for USA foods? Um, maybe at some point, not right now, just because it's it's very expensive and um, we can't afford it right now. Oh, it um, easily costs a hundred dollars to ship a box. Yeah, actually. it's very very expensive. The last a good boxes, size box. yeah, the last boxes I shipped were like a hundred dollars a piece. It, it was a lot. I, I think it's cheaper. I don't know. I was going to say, I think it can be cheaper to ship to us than to us from, uh, I don't know. but I don't know that it is because we've seen some boxes come in with some high uh, prices. It was cheaper from Germany than it was from London. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Canada, Canada is very expensive. Yeah. And they're right here. Yeah. I don't understand it at all. It's very, I can ship a little bitty box to Canada and it'll be $45. It, it makes no sense. Um, are you guys familiar with Herbalife shakes? I, I've never no. heard of those. Do you have a shop near you? Herbalife? Is that no. the name of the shop? I, I've we never don't, heard of it. Uh-uh. You should do a TV show. Hmm. I don't know what kind of, uh, what it would be about. I think that'd be a good idea for a basic business plan for out of the military. Yeah. The, the tracking. Oh, yeah. I, th I swear, I really do think it, it, that would be awesome. Somebody's going to make some money doing that one, he says. All true TV programs are fake. Yeah. Do you guys support LGBT? What do you mean by support? Um, I, I don't... Uh, I've never gone to a rally... Uh, if that's what you mean, I've, but I've never gone to a rally of any kind. So expand on that, and I'll answer you. Uh, we had a patent that fast. I'm telling you, Adam. Yeah, the airport in Atlanta is the busiest airport in the whole world. Sorry for that experience. No, it's not. Hey, I know it's not all of. Um, yeah, we don't judge everybody. No, I don't judge everybody. I think. They probably work uh, long and hard uh, hours. I think they probably deal with a lot of people. I mean, we have watched these airline shows, which I love. The people showing, that I actually talk to, they just grind. Showing people that, that go through the airport, and I think they probably deal with bad attitudes, and, you know, they're probably not used to people coming in smiling, and you know, but, um, yeah. So I don't blame that on everybody. Uh, where are we at? Uh, I've been seeing Malteser ads. Before your video. Oh, that's cool. Did you like Milk Candy? Yeah. I don't remember, I don't remember what brand it was. You have to do a search on the channel. I don't remember disliking it. But mm. then again, some of it kind of tastes sour, like sour milk taste. Exactly. Too. Like a yogurt. Yeah. yeah. And, and we didn't like those. Oh, thank you, Mr. Money. <laughs> thank you very much. I just met with my advisor today to schedule fall semester classes, and I can't believe school's already starting back up. Did summer uh, fly by for you? Always flies by. I think, did you ask above there when school started? Somebody did, and I, I, I skipped over it. When does school start? Yeah, my school starts back in two weeks. Week? No, not even two weeks. Not this coming Monday, but the next Monday we start back. And not next week, but the week regular after. Regular public school is probably the week it after. Normally, that. is around like the fifteenth or something. Fifteenth or twenty or something. Some, yeah, we don't have kids in school anymore, so we don't know. We start school at four and leave at sixteen. They've changed it to leave at eighteen. Hmm. Natalie's in Los Angeles. So that's probably about the same here because most most seniors are about sixteen. Only about 18, if you think about it. Uh oh, Dr. J said they have a luggage tracker. Okay, but that's not the same as a pod tracker. We need <laughs> a pod tracker. We need one when you're moving, you can track it. Uh, they need to. They need to get on that, Dr. J. Somebody's gonna do it. Something with um, kind of on the mostly metal. You'd have to have something to like a magnet to stick on the inside to convert the whole container to a big antenna. 
Dr. J is <laughs> the one that sent us the Mr. Kipple. Are you done? Yeah, I'm all oh, yeah, I'm finished. Of course, that one. I am finished. That was Our actually really good. protein shake drinks, they're amazing. You guys should really look into it. Uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it for a video, but it's not something that I don't mm. like to drink my calories. Um, I know some people don't mind. Uh, Mish Mish has told me that she doesn't mind to drink her calories. Um, I well, just, we're not big protein shake people. No. If I were to eat a protein shake, I'd be three or 400 pounds. I mean, yeah, because it's all just, would just add bulk to me. Yeah. We're already bulky. People. <laughs> bulky people anyway. <laughs> Um, let's see, where are we? Well, I mean, are you for or against LGBT rights? Um, I am uh, for. Um, I have uh, friends who are, who are gay. I've always had friends who are gay. I have absolutely, um, to me, it's none of anybody's business what Kevin and I are doing in our private time, and it's not my business what anybody else is doing in their private time. I don't want anybody judging the antics that we get up to in our private life, and I'm not going to judge anyone else's antics that they get up to. You know, I just, uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, you know, from a legal standpoint, you know, they're together. We give um, we give legal rights to people that live together for 20 years, what, what's the difference, you know? I, I think uh, um, uh, people should, I don't know if, if you are gay, but I think that uh, people should be able to, to get married to who they want. Uh, if you want to marry, if a man wants to marry another man, if a woman wants to marry another woman, I do not have a problem with that at all. Uh, I think it's horrible to hear stories about, you know, someone, a, a partner gets hurt and they're in the hospital, and then their partner who's, uh, you know, they're basically married, or they would be if they could be, they can't get in the room, or the insurance is messed up, and, and then, or if the person dies and they don't have rights to their, you know, I just, I have a problem with, with that. So, yes, I, I support gay rights, if that's what you are asking me. The Rocky Road Oreos are very, very good. They're delicious. If you like marshmallow, you have to like marshmallow because Kim was saying that she does not like marshmallow, but she wanted to try them anyway, so she didn't care for them so much. Yeah. You have to like marshmallow. <clears throat> like chocolate marshmallows. Uh, they have flavors starting. So that's those, those uh, health things. Hmm. Uh, do you have any tips for having a successful YouTube channel? Um... Do y'all post your videos on any special sites other than Facebook and Twitter? Oh, no. No. And I don't, I'm not, I'm a very, very small YouTube channel. Very small. I, I don't, I mean, if you look at the numbers for, for each one of my videos, I don't get near. I mean, Kevin watches people who are big. Andrew watches people who are big. Me, I'm a little bitty, a bitty channel, so... Um, and do but, I post my videos on any other? I don't. No. Uh, and truth be told, the people that, that are on Facebook and Twitter came from YouTube to follow you anyway. Yeah, so they've so, already seen it anyway. Yeah. It just makes me feel better to post it on, uh, like today on Instagram. I put uh, I posted about the what I when the retro what I ate Wednesday because I thought, well, maybe I'll get a few more clicks if I post it on here. But did I? Probably not. <laughs> no, but as far as tips for doing it, uh, the biggest thing is, you know, you have to have something people want to watch, um, and you, you have to just do it pretty consistently. Because my problem with my channel, and I, I'm a very tiny, I'm tiny or teeny tiny or channel, um, I don't post regularly. Like, when I play a game, I'll post pretty regularly. But then, like, when I'm done not playing a game, I'll go for months without posting anything. So, um you know, if you don't post a lot, you, you don't get as many views either. Queen Bee said there are lots of touristy things like the aquarium, biggest aquarium in the world, Coca-Cola factory, and the Centennial Olympic Park. Mm. Yeah, I, w I really would uh, like to visit Georgia. And, of course, for me, it's about the food, too. So yeah. I would oh, be yeah. looking for all the food that I could eat. Peach, yes, thank you for always watching and being supportive. 
I thought someone's <laughs> stomach was growling, but it's Guido snoring. Yeah, he's, yes, he's, he's literally right next yeah. to me. That just shows you how loud the snoring is. August 9th, school starts. Right now, it's 105 in California. How's the weather in Kentucky? It was 80. Let's see. It's, 80 been, it's been hot, but it hasn't been 105. No. It was, um, it had gotten cooler. The temperature dropped down in the 70s, but then now it's coming back up again because it rained for three days straight. Um, are you guys excited for the new Fantastic Beast movie? Remember they that. showed the first one was the... It's, it's 82 right now. It's the Harry Potter movie, but it's it's set in the Harry Potter world, but it's previous oh, to that. Oh, that'll be awesome. Yeah, when does that come out? I don't know. The first one was pretty decent. I mean, it, it was one of those movies I wouldn't I wouldn't actually buy and like own and watch all the time, but it was definitely worth watching. It was a good movie. Um, how do you guys stay trim with all the food you try on the channel? Uh, we have both gained weight. I, I don't say trim. We, I wish I did. And uh, Yeah, and I'm not kidding. We have both gained weight. I do work out six days a week. I do nothing. Uh, but clearly, clearly it's not enough. It, it Not enough to keep up with what I eat. And um, just in all honesty, before we sit down to eat, I ate an Eccles cake. I mean, so I ate 200 calories before my dinner. And that was like five minutes before we came live. I ate an Eccles cake. Um, I love those things. Um, this is what you do for a living. I do this for a living. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Laura said she made it. Yay. Um, Herbal Life's one of those I'm things glad, people Laura. sell privately and have parties and sell them kind of like Tupperware. Oh. Oh, yeah. We at least don't have anybody around here doing that. So. What's, What's your, your thoughts, thoughts on, Big on Big Brother? We've, we printed out something. We'll talk about it. Uh, let's get caught up a little bit, and then we'll mention Yeah, it, okay? then we'll talk about Big Brother. Um, road trip to Cincinnati. Um, we'll probably do some more. It, it takes a lot of time and for us just to get there and drive up there and all that stuff. Well, then, I think they mean, are we going to go to more places? That's what I mean. It just takes it takes time to... to you got to set aside time to go to these places. So um, Your channel is a lot more successful than mine. Don't pay yourself as much. Oh, thank you. I think it's just because I post every day, and some people I know think it's way too much, but if you think, there's so many new foods coming out all the time, and I can't even keep up, you you know, with the new foods coming out, and uh, that's why there's so many videos, and I mean, I could have more. There could be more every day, so... Um, you know, I think it's just consistency with posting. Mm -hmm. That has a lot to do with it. And you have to have things before going to watch. And you know what? Sometimes it takes it takes one or two videos that somebody really likes. And then once they see they've done a couple of them, they'll usually hang around. But your biggest subscriber numbers at the very beginning was us redoing the floors and stuff in our living room. Yeah. And... The people in here now may not have ever watched those, care think, anything about those. So you got your numbers after that from other places. I don't but, think most of these people have watched any of the renovations. But videos. to get you started, though, that was your start. The vi yeah, we renovated. We uh, we did the the first videos in their their horrible quality yeah. videos. We, we had did. old old cameras. Well, and, no, the phone. I was using my phone, and you couldn't hear. And uh, we redid the floors in the living room and the den. And then we renovated the den, and there's before and afters of that. And then that's the room with the bookshelves, is mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. And I'm pointing there because it's, it's behind, behind me. <laughs> um, and then we did the kitchen, and that's 20 parts. Yes, can you sit through all 20 of the kitchen renovation? And then we redid this room. Yeah, I don't know if we taped a lot of this. I oh, know yeah, we did some. I did. Yeah. yeah, I did. I found it. There wasn't as much to do in this room. It was as just time. It was ones. more time consuming. In here. But it, it did take Because a lot of time. scraping, heating up and scraping all that old paint. Yeah, because this mantle, can they see the mantle? Yeah, the mantle behind us was painted. And so. And so it was all the trim all and the, the trim doors. All the trim around the windows and the doors. And I cannot wait to take the paint off in the living room. Yeah. I, I want to do that so bad. Hmm. Painting project only. Andrew cooks would be very interesting. Andrew, because um, <laughs> Andrew doesn't cook. <laughs> I think you've watched the video. I think you commented on the one video he did, and he was he was making like a an egg sandwich, or maybe I was at his house making the egg sandwich. Anyway, Andrew was there. <laughs> um, I don't think Andrew cooks though. I think Christina pretty much cooks. He Christina, works, and Christina cooks when he Christina gets home. Christina makes him dinner. Yeah. Um, 
Go ahead and peaches. Um, Susan Kim. I've been calling her Kim, and her name is Susan. Susan Kim. Sorry, Susan. I have literally referred to you twice during this dinner with the Duns, and I've called you Kim. But yes, but I follow her on Instagram too. Um, I've literally called her Kim both times. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, YouTube YouTube. can be difficult. Thousand views for each one, which is good. That seems like you have uh, people interested in watching. You just gotta give it time. It took. Um, oh, I didn't know that you had a uh, channel. I didn't know you had a channel, your own channel. I didn't know. There's. See, I get so uh, people commenting, and then I don't click on them to see because yeah. I'm just. I'm just. I don't have time. Honestly, oh, yeah. I can't. I don't have time to look at everybody. But I read all the comments, but that doesn't mean I necessarily click on your name to go to your channel. So I had no idea that you had your own channel. I will have to check it out. But sometimes it takes a while. It took, um, what, two or three years before you really started getting numbers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, don't, don't give up. Southern food in downtown Atlanta is the best. I bet it is. The small brunch. That's what I like to do. When I go somewhere, I don't want to go to some McDonald's or fast food. I want to go to somewhere. A local restaurant. Not a chain. Yeah, local. But now I will go to chains. When Kevin and I ever venture out and go to Texas or somewhere, I do want to eat Whataburger because yeah. we've never. Well, if they're chains that we don't have around here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to clarify that. It rained a lot here. It's eighty-two where yeah. I live. Today. It just the rain. I think cooled everybody off a little. What bit. fast food restaurant is next in line for lunchtime review? If you don't mind saying. Kevin went today, and I I don't care if you tell. Steak and shake. Steak and shake. That's where he went uh, today. He we. It's funny because in our town they just built a steak and shake, but he went to the one in the next in the next town. Well, over. it's easier to get in and out and everything. The one they built here is. It's on a very a very busy, busy road, road and, and you really it's very hard to pull out across the street to go where I wanted to go. Um, yeah, I would have to go down and all the way down. And it's one of those places where if you're gonna try to turn left, getting out of there, you're risking your life. Yeah. yeah. So it's best to just turn right. Oh. Um, so he went to the one in the next town over, uh, which I showed in a video on this channel a while back. Uh, if you do a search for steak and shake, uh, do you guys ever have any? Where are we at? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you guys ever have any bad experiences filming in public? We've had one. At Two. Golden Corral yeah. and at that Ollie's. Ollie's. And both times a manager came up to me and asked me why I was filming. Uh, she, It was a woman in the Golden Corral. And, and she was a lot nicer about it. She was nicer about it. The guy in Ollie's was a, was um, a, jerk. a complete jerk. And he made me just want to get out of there as fast as I could. And he still works there because I've seen him since then. I doubt he remembers. Um, I bet he does remember me. Too. I would. Um, I certainly remember him. Um, uh, but, yeah, I just, you know, when I'm filming in public, I try to keep the camera hidden as much as possible. That's why I'm usually in front of him. <laughs> I stay behind Kevin. I'm behind him. And I don't know what, I try not to get people, um, you know. Yeah, if she, if she, she sees somebody coming down the aisle, she'll I'll take the camera, turn away, I'll or turn she'll turn it, it off and put or, it away. Or. Yeah, I mean, I try not to get anybody because, uh, you know, they might not want to be on YouTube. Uh, but, uh, I, yeah, I do my best to keep it hidden. But those were the only two bad experiences I had. What's the closest thing to Eccles Gate here in the U.S.? I don't think there is. Guido's snoring big He's time, really man. snoring. Um, the, it's so, the, the pastry on the outside is so flaky, and there's like layers of flakes. So it's almost like a flaky, like a baklava. Like a, like the, or a biscuit. Like the outside of, well, I'm thinking of baklava just because it, there's so many layers. Like a pastry. Yeah, like a pastry. It would be, okay, it would be like a toaster strudel. But it's it's filled with raisins and dates. Yeah, and does it have nuts in it too? No, pecans or anything. No, I didn't taste any of mine. Raisin, raisin dates. Um, what I thought but it, was. it would be like a toaster yeah, strudel. I could buy that. Not quite as crispy though. It's more. It's softer than that. 
it's it's uh, it has more layers. Yeah, it has more layers than a toaster strudel, but that's what I would. That's say probably the closest. Like. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Loved all the water towers. They're just oh made. yeah, they were cool looking. I post twice a week, two videos on Fridays and two videos on Saturday. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look up, uh, look you all up. I'll have to start clicking on everybody's name to see if they have their own. Ch Most of the people I click on don't even don't have a YouTube. I mean, it, they have the account, but there's nothing on there. You know, they just watch videos. They don't make videos. Um, we very rarely go to thrift stores. We don't. We I mean, we have in the past, but we just we don't just, anymore. We're, if if I'm looking for something specific, maybe, but I I just don't need anything you know yeah, I'm says, always looking for food and you know Mishmish says she drives on our next road trip I know you would Mishmish likes to drive like yeah. Ashley loves to drive just drive just you know in three hours oh that's nothing that you know nothing to her at all um, Ashley goes back to school probably in another two or three weeks and she she did go to my school she, she graduated. Finished my school she graduated, from, and then went on to UK. She got an associate's degree at Kevin's. School. That's the highest degrees we get. Yeah, they only give associates, and so then she went on to um, to the University of Kentucky. Yeah. Um, Peach said she watched the remodeling and commented on it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you show us Guido? He's so cute. He is literally if he wakes asleep. Up, if he wakes up, we'll pick him up. Yeah, he is asleep, and it would startle him. And so I'm gonna let him sleep. Um, yeah. But you know he's alive. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, are we allowed to post our food reviews on your Facebook? On my Facebook. Um, I I've never had anyone do that before. I don't even know if they would. I don't know if Facebook lets you do that. Like post a video on there. I'm not sure. Sorry, I've got a notification on Facebook. So if she, if she, the person came on here, she would know we were live. Um, um, Mentioned a comment on another food review a few weeks ago and been hooked. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Thank you. I, I appreciate that very much. Who do you think uh, Food Network? There's what these three people are like. There's not right? many left. Amy, I, had, Amy. I had the guy picked out from the very beginning. So um, you think Christian? Is mm -hmm. that his name? Yeah, I've had Christian pick out, but I, I told her like the first week or and two. And out of the ones that are left, I think Christian will win too. Although, I think he's kind of, uh, do I like, truth be told, I don't like any of the three as much as I've liked some in the past. Some that they've let go. Yeah, they, they've let some let go that I thought would be better hosts, really, and they screwed up like one week and they let them go. It's like, really? I'm, I really think uh, they made a mistake getting rid of Jessica. I think that was her name. She had short black hair. I really think they made a mistake getting rid of her because I think she would have been terrific on TV. I just did. You were at his house making the egg sandwich. Yeah, oh, you were making okay. the egg sandwich, though. He I it. was making it for him. <laughs> to see Andrew. Andrew grills, or does Christina do grill on TV? Um, I think he like heats the grill up and might throw it on there, but I don't know. Oh, the kitchen reno popped up. Stay up till 6 a.m. watching it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for watching it. I get that all the time. Susan, I'm so sorry that I called you, Kim. The more done videos, the better. Thank you. You should make some slime. If I had kids, I probably would. Um, I probably would do that if I had kids, but... Um, I when my uh, when Andrew and Ashley were little, I, the most we would make would be like play doh from yeah. scratch. We would make homemade play doh, and we would make different colors. And um, I always liked making that. Um. Oh, thank you, Carly. Did you hear about the update about the family whose child knocked over the statue? No, I haven't. You'll have to uh, tell. tell Do you know here. something? Yeah, if you know something. Because I just heard that one article. Hold on. Thought it was interesting. Chick Fil A's made in Atlanta as well. Do you have that? In we do have Chick Fil A. Oh yes, we've done. Um, we've been to. Well, I've done videos on Chick. -fil -A. I think they've had Chick Fil A here ever since I was a kid because they had one in, in the, the mall, Lexington Mall, and I never went there. I didn't have Chick Fil A until my first time at Chick Fil A was when they built that one the in Hamburg, and that was with us. <laughs> so I mean, I was older. Before I ever tried yeah. Chick Fil A, the Chick Fil A in the mall was kind of—it uh, always looked dirty, but it always. Did you been... hear about the mall? Mm -mm. Okay, 
the Fayette Mall in Lexington, they had to shut down the food court for days because so many people got sick. There was like hundreds of people so that got somebody. sick. And the first place, I, the first place, Pat told me about it, my aunt, the first place I think she mentioned was Chick-fil-A. And then, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, so Chick-fil-A in the mall is contaminated. But then it was like the whole food court shut down for a couple of days. So <laughs> I can only imagine the health department swooping in, making them clean everything. Some places, as of a couple of days ago, some places were open. Some of them still weren't. Huh. So it's, they were trying to nail it down. I'm it glad that I have not been to the food court in a while. Uh, makes me feel better about not going out to eat for a little while. Um, Whataburger's okay. Heavy on the mustard. You know, I'm sure we would go to Whataburger and be like, yeah, this is okay. But I know the things that we have been sent from Whataburger, really like good. Laurie and Eric have sent us the, the, the seasonings and the, the, the uh, ketchup and stuff. And, and we've really enjoyed that. So it's like, we need to go to a Whataburger. Well, I've had people on the, that I watch on videos doing stuff, and they've been there, and they said it was, they said, what was all the hype about? This is nothing. Same thing for in and out Right. They, they ate one of those, and it's like, really? We've got... Five we guys, felt that way about Five Guys is better than this. You we know. felt that way about Shake Shack. I had always heard about Shake yeah, Shack. Yeah, it's just okay. And how phenomenal Shake Shack it's was okay. supposed to be. It's like uh, Culver's, Culver's, except Culver's is cheaper. So go to Culver's and get your fix, and it's much, much cheaper. It's much cheaper. Easier parking day. I'm trying to decide what to do for my birthday next Saturday. Any ideas? It just depends on where you live. Um, I personally like to stay at home and watch TV on my birthday. Do but. you ever get recognized in real life from YouTube videos? Not really. I mean, not really. Uh, we had somebody come up to us in London, <laughs> right in the middle of London. And, yeah. uh, and someone us. said they recognized us in Lexington the other day, but they didn't come up they to us. They didn't come up to us. Yeah. She, no, no, no. I'm thinking, I, I thought she said Walmart here. Oh, was it, it was Lexington? Here. I thought it was in Lexington. But she said she didn't come up to us, so yeah. I don't know who it was. Uh, wild eggs in Lexington to try their pancakes. And, yeah, we are. We've never been there. Uh -huh. Wild eggs. Uh, I have I have to go, Madison. I have to go and do an exam. Three oh. more months, and I'll officially be a lawyer. Wow, That's congrats. so exciting. Uh, uh, do you think any of my students watch Lunchtime Review? Maybe. I, I mean, I've. So. I've ran into a few people. See, I, I post my lecture videos on my channel. I have had students watch some of my game videos. Oh, um, yeah, where he's, he and Andrew are playing games. I've had a few of them. And it gets it's interesting because it gets a conversation started like, well, what kind of games do you like? And we'll talk and stuff like that. So that's pretty funny. For the most part, though. I don't, I don't think so. Um, oh, they've got a bakery in. in uh, that makes Eccles cakes? Yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. Can I ask what happened? Um, that was in a vlog. It was in a vlog called Ollie's Made Me Feel Bad. I think that's what, literally, I think that's what I call it. So you and get I, the whole fresh story there. And I regret naming it that now, but it's too late. It's, it's, um, it's that's true. That's the name of the vlog. Ollie's Made Me Feel Bad. And n nothing happened with him. He just, he just wanted to stand there. I think... He probably wished that he had taken a different approach when he came up to me. He probably wishes that he had said, ma'am, we don't allow filming in our store, period. Instead, when he came up to me, he said that he was worried about me getting other customers on video, which my response was, I'm not filming anybody. I haven't gotten anybody's face. There was nobody even around me, for, for goodness sakes. You were in the books. Yeah, I was in the book area. Nobody was in the book area but me. And so it's like I'm not getting anybody's face. So he ended up uh, walking off uh, after a while. Yeah, after and, arguing. And I did film a little, a little bit, bit more. more there, wasn't much 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 film. there wasn't much else to film. Because, anymore. well, he just ruined in my time in there that and I still don't like going in that location because he's working there and I have a look at him. 
uh, I hope you did the butter burger from Steak and Shake. You'll see that tomorrow. I hope you, uh, Nella Banana. Yeah. Oh, we've had that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah, good. we've tried that. Um, um, they post the videos on their Facebook page. Um, oh, I hope you like them. They, um, the Rocky Road, yeah, they're they're really good. At, like you said, chocolate marshmallows. We don't watch Master Chef, mm -hmm. but we do plan on watching Chopped. Yeah, does that start next week? Chopped is this coming week? on, uh, coming back. We haven't watched Chopped in years. No, um, we we watch, but we we, we used, we used to. to binge watch. It yeah, we that. used to, but they're coming back, and it's going to be like Grill Masters. And so it's like, okay, what better time to start watching Chopped again than Girl Masters? So we're going to start watching it when it comes back. Yeah, on. it's like this week or next week. Um, I always do uh, hauls on Monday. They're the they're on Monday usually at six o'clock in the morning our time. I love Steak and Shake. Always. You know, Steak and Shake is good. But the few I won't talk about today, but uh, in the past we've gotten just regular cheeseburgers. And they, they're always really tiny, aren't they? For what you get, for what you pay for. Yes. I've always thought they were really small. Did you do a review of the Thomas Whole Wheat Mini Bagels? Valerie, that doesn't even sound good. Whole Wheat Mini Bagels, do they not have any flavor to them at all? <laughs> Are they new? Well, any bagel, you have to put cream cheese on it, so, you know. Oh, okay. So you just got to slather. Oh, okay. If the bagel's this thick, then the cheese has to be this thick. Okay. Have y'all had a fat burger? No, no, we've never had a fat burger. Uh, your gummy reviews are the best. Thank you very much. I live in Canada. Um, the parents insurance company paid out the value of the statue. I kind of figured that would happen. But was it the insurance companies? No, but fault? they but they cover. Yeah, that, I mean that's what you got insurance for. It says the artist is suing the family for the remainder because yeah. it didn't pay. Because see, it money. wasn't the actual place that was suing them because it was on loan from the artist. The artist is the one that was actually suing them or wanted the money. It wasn't the, the place. Uh, from my understanding, it wasn't the community place. It was uh, um, it was the artist that wanted the money because right. it was just on loan from the place. Brian said his mom told him about Fayette Mall food court last night. Apparently, some of the workers at Chick Fil A had some sort of a virus and were still working in the restaurant, and it spread quickly. I love that. That's them. disgusting. And, and well, make your cheeseburger. I mean, your chicken. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's awful too when you go in, like for example, Walmart, and they're sicker than a dog, and they're working, and they're doing it because they're afraid to get in trouble. They only have so many days. And they work, their, their rules are so strict that these people are scared to death to call in because there's penalties, I'm telling you. There's penalties if, if, if you're not there a certain amount of time. We can only call in so many times. And so you'll get these sickly people, and uh, yeah, I just, I hate that. Uh, but yes, I'm glad that we don't eat out very much. We, and I know you all love when we go places out to eat. And I usually have a great time when we do, but it's just, um, you know, you don't know who's cooking your food, do you? You really <laughs> don't. Um, Steak and Shake has the best milkshakes. I will tell you, Kevin did not get a milkshake. I did not get a milkshake. I would have, but, but I didn't But the meal it. filled you up. I was pretty full. He was pretty stuck. John, yes, we're Eastern time zone. Um, how would you, what do you say that? I was just going to say goodbye because they're leaving. The S S. T G M P four four. <laughs> Stage them? I don't know. Um, Good night. Thank you for coming in. Oh wow! Oh Pixie, thank you. Thank you for that donation. We're actually oh, you we're actually have done caught that. up. Oh, you should not have done that. She's the one that sent us the mix uh, to to make it. Oh no, it. That, that's okay. No, you should not have done that. We, uh, yeah, we appreciate you sending us the the mixes, the yeah, seasonings, cool. and you spent all that money to send that stuff to us, and that your box was expensive to send, and um, 
you did not have to do that at all. But we appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it very much, though. Uh, Tracy's has the best steak burgers. I don't know. Do we we don't have a Freddy's, do we? Yeah, you ate Freddy's. You did a review. The one over by Costco. Oh, is that called Freddy's? No. Yes. Oh, well, okay. It's Freddy's. Kevin did a lunchtime review. Oh, I agree. They are better than Steak and Shake. Yeah, Kevin did a lunchtime review. I forgot that was Freddy's. Yeah, that's called Freddy's. That's because you and I have never been there together, so it doesn't stay in your mind. You were there by yourself. Um, When did the Aldi thing happen? What about Aldi? What happened with Aldi? Peach must be talking to somebody else. I can't stand it when I go to fast food place and I hear coughing and sneezing in the kitchen. My brother works at Walmart, and you were right about the attendance policy. Three times. Yeah, John, yeah, it's really bad. Um, well, I used to work for um, a company that was owned by Kmart, and they, um, five days is all you can miss. Mm-hmm. Um, the good thing, though, is if you miss two days in a row, it only counted as one day. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's just how they did it. I guess they figured you're sick on Monday and you miss Tuesday as well, you're still sick. So it only wow. counted as one of the five. My mistake actually got let go from that place because of that. I had missed a day, came in the next day, was still sick as a dog, left early that day because I was sick, mm-hmm. took the next day off, and they counted that as two separate days, um, so I got let go because it was my fifth day. When well, technically, it should have just been two days because I was really sick that whole time. Right. I don't, but anyway, I think they were trying to get rid of me anyway because they wanted the, the manager's uh, like brother or cousin or something to work in the department I was in anyway. Right. I think they just got rid of me. Um, Firework Oreo Blizzard. Yeah, it was just okay. It wasn't my favorite. I mean, I like a good blizzard anyway. I mean, you can't you can't really have a bad blizzard, but it wasn't exceptional. You like it a lot with the popping candy and the cotton candy. Stuff. Yeah, I like all blizzards though. I really do. I, I like yeah. all blizzards. Um, add the one with the fresh fruit was just it was all right. Um, uh, should I have some flavor? Oh, she wanted to know about the, what was it? Whole wheat bagels? Oh, yeah. I don't eat bagels very often. No, and you have to buy the cream cheese, too. I do. So it all (laughs) depends. The flavor is going to all depend on what kind of cream cheese you put on there. And they have all different kinds of flavors now. Yeah. Pixie of the Lamb is not expensive in the UK, but over here, yeah, it seems to be expensive over here. I don't know why. And, And that was my first time having it. I'd never had it before. Um, self checkout. We always do self checkout if we only have like ten items. We did self checkout today. Yeah, sometimes it's a pain in the butt. It sometimes is it takes longer to do it that way. It does staying in because line. it says there's something unexpected in the bagging area. Yeah, and my you, groceries. Yeah, the one you just rang up. Yeah, you just rang it up. Uh, hello, it's in the bagging area. Where do you want me to stick and, it? And um, what we we had a little thing of batteries, and it was really really light. It was a little flat like uh, button batteries. So you scan it, and it's like $5, and you put it in the bag, and it's too light for it to know it's there. So it says, please place it in the bag. And I just said, skip bag, and just left it. I mean, it's just so that stupid. It's oh, I think keep wondering why do they keep saying all these. It's, uh, it's Ollie's. O-L. Um, it's my accent. I'm sorry. Ollie's. O-L-L-I-E. Yeah, Ollie. They said it below here. Oh, okay. Tammy said it. All, <laughs> Ollie's. Ollie's, not Aldi's. <laughs> Sorry. Not cookout. We, there is a cookout. Is that the one on Nichols, on uh, Broadway? That's the one on Broadway. Yeah, we've never been. You said that it was too far out from where you were going to It's die. too far That's away. Why you didn't eat it today. It's die. probably too far away for me to ever eat there. Well, I'll take that back. I could eat there on, a, on one of those Thursdays. I have a meeting at Cooper and I'm coming back. Might, I might be able to go there. John mm-hmm. said Walmart's the same about the consecutive days. Yeah, breaking up with separate absences. Yep, that, that got me. I thought it wouldn't matter, though, because I took I went home early the day between because they knew that I was still sick, but yeah, whatever. Um, Sarah, I thought about asking Ashley about uh, the What I Ate Wednesday, uh, uh, about a flashback. What was that? I thought about asking her. Um, oh, somebody subscribed. Oh, that's great. Um, I don't know. I haven't talked to her about it, so I don't even know. I would like to hear from her uh, what she remembers eating. I know. Talk about it. it hasn't been that very that long for her. Ashley's only twenty two, 
So, Ashley would probably tell you what she ate maybe as a child. What did she have when she was maybe 10 years old? So, I will, I'm going to write that down because I have been meaning to ask Ashley about that. Okay. And Kevin will have to see. Now, see, Andrew, Andrew comments all the time on what he had, but it's the things he absolutely hated. <laughs> yeah, Andrew doesn't talk about the nice things yeah. though, because I cooked everything. The macaroni and cheese and all that stuff. Yeah, Andrew likes to say um, tuna casserole. We yeah. had tuna casserole. We had tuna casserole every couple of weeks. And then he talks so. about pork chops. We had pork chops every single night. Well, guess what? Most people would be very happy to have pork yeah. chops every night, and they're Kevin's favorite. So, you know, Kevin's working every day. So, we probably did have pork chops three I nights. I love pork. I can eat pork chops now. Ashley's coming in. I thought, Josh she, said, um, I thought she didn't get off till, till 8.30. We're live. Hello? We're live. <laughs> she doesn't care. Josh said that he's just popping in and say Hi. Um, watch the video later. Thank you. Oh, good. Um, peach shake at Chick Fil A. I haven't been to Chick Fil A for a little while anyway, but the peach shake um, is it really, really peachy, or is it just a good sweet peach? He's probably gone now. Probably is. But have you tried peanut butter on bagels? I have not. Can I send you some box tops, please? I would love. To. Ashley would really appreciate the uh, the box tops. Peanut butter is good on bagels. Um. Okay, we're behind. If you had to sneak a parrot through the airport security, <laughs> how would you do it? I don't know. I would never try to sneak anything. I would just register it and let them know it. I was going to, uh, yeah, we're live. If I say it, it's said. So I've got to. <laughs> you can't say anything. I huh? can't say anything. Not that it was going to be that bad, but. The only parrot I'd sneak the uh, airport would be a fake parrot because I don't like birds. Uh, Laughing cow cheese on bagels, that would be good. Yeah, unexpected. Place the item in the bagging area. Please place the item in the bagging area. Unexpected item in the bagging area. I know. Yeah. So put it in the bag area, you put it there, now it's saying, oh, that's unexpected. Yeah, that's that's what we usually do. Um, Anna, if you're in here, thank you for subscribing. Same goes for... Uh, Frisky's wet cat food. <laughs> if you all are in here, thank you for subscribing. Yvonne, uh, that, I think that is a good policy. If you had a virus, you could not serve food. See, that's how it was at the restaurants I worked Yes. At. Yvonne is in the United Kingdom. But they didn't they give us, care about people? Well, they didn't give us days off for free. What they would usually do is um, they, you could just take off. You, you mean that you would have to take off. What's your P.O. box? It, um, well, I can tell you our P.O. box, or Kevin can talk about it. If you look in the description of any video we have, it's in there. It's in the description. Yeah, yeah. that's probably easier and quicker. Um, love your shirt. Oh. Um, it looks very nautical. It's Ashley. It looks nautical. It looks like a sailor's outfit. It's Ashley. You need the little tie, the little I don't even think front. she's worn it out of the house yet. But I thought, oh, I want to wear something different. I'll borrow Ashley's shirt. Pixies, are they only ever talk about the terrible meals their mom made. <laughs> yeah, and Andrew does that. And I made so many good things for dinner. And, yeah, you only hear about the bad things. Yeah, John, I still have not tried that meal yet. So um, he, yeah, he, he thinks it's good, too. He hasn't tried it for his lunchtime review. I haven't channel. tried it yet. And Ashley has eaten literally like four or five of them. She's probably in there heating up She's one She's probably now. making one now. <laughs> yes, she has been hooked on those and and she loves yeah them. she actually said um uh, when she tried she came in the, the, to the den and said okay you gotta buy like eight more of those yeah <laughs> dr chase said what are the box tops for yeah in the united kingdom i don't know if you all have something like that or not it's a little um i wonder if they have them on that probably don't. not it's, no. it's a little square it's only participating companies yeah. it's, and it's a little square you cut out and it's a piece of paper you probably have seen me open them um but schools, if you give that to the, the school, the school will then turn those in. They count them, and they turn them in, and they can get something yeah, like, for their school. Like, like playground equipment or, yeah, or, or musical or computer equipment. Or, 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 you know, something like yeah. that for the school. So it's a way for you to contribute money to the school for them to buy stuff. Honestly, I swear, I was just thinking the other day, you know, if the company really wanted to be nice, why not just 
Why not just give it to them? Just if you want to be. Yeah, but they're going to make sure that they're getting some of the money back because you had to buy their product. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it. It's a circle, you it know. It is. It is. That's just like um, what is that one? Um, Thank you, Lisa. That's very nice of you. Something that if you when you buy whatever, like if, when you buy something, they'll contribute a, they'll contribute a dollar of that to whatever up to five thousand dollars something or whatever the number is. And I'm thinking, why don't they just donate the five thousand dollars and be done with it? I mean, right. why not just do it instead of saying, well, for every thing, every time you buy one, we'll donate a dollar for this up to whatever amount. It's like just give them the money anyway, you know. Kevin said he likes my necklace. Uh, Brian said, what would you guys consider your favorite ethnic foods? Uh, Mexican. I love ethnic them. foods? I love Mexican food. I don't know. I like, I like, uh, like chicken fried rice and stuff, too. I love though. Mexican food. Sweet and sour chicken. I probably like Mexican food better, though, because I like a little bit of spice in mm-hmm. mine. If I had to pick one of the two, it's probably Mexican. Have you tried Sugar Fina? Yes. Um, Liz... Right there, under John. Oh. Have you tried Sugarfina? Yeah. Well, I've done, there's two videos on Sugarfina. If you search on my channel for Sugar, Tammy Dunn Sugarfina. Oh, that's right. those candies. In the yeah, but listen, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very expensive candy. Um, oh, you can get school vouchers if you purchase a certain amount. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Quest Low Carb Pasta. I have not seen, uh, I have not pasta. seen that. Um, but I haven't looked for it either. Have you had Persian or Iranian food? Um, I've had. I don't think so. You um, might have. I don't know if I have or not. I mean, we've had like um, Middle Eastern food, like the baklava and stuff like that, and some candies and stuff, but not actual food. Right. Um, uh, do math one more. I love the math one more. Um, there is some good restaurants. Uh, we've never eaten them, but they Ashley says they're good. There's a couple of Ashley doesn't restaurants. eat Mexican food. You can't listen to that. Well, Ashley that's true. Go. She she goes there and gets a cheese quesadilla, which is basically a tortilla with cheese on it, or chicken nuggets. Or chicken nuggets. <laughs> She'll go to the Mexican restaurant and order chicken nuggets because she doesn't eat Mexican food. So yeah. why you can't trust? But her. I've had the I've had the one up there near the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. What's that it's called? It's not there anymore, is it? Is it there? Yeah. The Mexican restaurant? Oh. I'm still there. I've never been to any of them. Anyway, before. it's pretty good. The one, and when the next time over, we had Chewies. We always liked that. We like Chewies. Um, Although someone else ate there, and they said they didn't like it, so. I think Andrew said it, he didn't think it was anything. In, the one in Ohio. In the, yeah, no, we didn't go to the local right. one. Right. We did have uh, Don Pablo's. That was awesome. Um, And we had, um, of course, in the 80s, Chi Chi's. Yeah, that was a that was a good chain Mexican restaurant. Um, but uh, we, we like uh, what's that one uh, that little fast food one? Not Qdoba, but uh, oh, um, what's it's not Chili's. One? Actually, what's that, that Mexican restaurant? We got not Qdoba's. Chipotle. 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 Oh, is that really Mexican food? Is Chipotle Mexican? I mean, it's not. It's really, kind of it's uh, urban Mexican. I don't know. Kevin is being thanks for the marker oh. for the Pam. I like your shirt on me. Or my shirt on you. Here, you can just carry all that. Somebody said they like this shirt. It does not look good on me. Why? I think. I, same with me, I think. No. No, with me it was bad. No, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, uh, Ethiopian. I've never tried Ethiopian food. I don't know where I would buy Ethiopian food around here. We live in um, kind of the south. <laughs> <laughs> in a smaller town, and we don't have those kind of restaurants around here. So I don't know. I don't know where you would buy Ethiopia. Right. Food. We've tried South African candy. Yeah. The video's not out yet, but we have tried it. Um, just turned from Mexico. Oh, Sarah. Fruit was delicious. That's pretty cool. Jane, that's the thing. When you have a uh, uh, mom, when your mom passes away, then that means you're in charge. It's the it's been passed on to you, and so like um, I knew when my mom died, I thought, okay, this you know Thanksgiving's yours. Thanksgiving's mine now, um, and and I never and I know I've said this before in videos. I never realized how nice it was to just be able to go to somebody's house as a guest, especially when it's a big holiday like that. To just 
get up on Thanksgiving and and Kevin and I did make dishes. We did. We haven't we haven't been just truly guests in many many no, years. No, we always made like four different dishes. Well, I got increasingly more. Right, <laughs> but you know it was so nice to be able to come over here and know that. You know, she's doing... Now, at Christmas, it was like that. She's doing the big stuff. She, yeah, at Christmas, she was... At she, Easter. Yeah, yeah, she did everything. And she was in charge of the table and the setting the table. And, I mean, just doing all that. And so that, like, you know, when when then when your mom dies... It's all yours now. It's all you. You're the grown-up, and, and you've got to do it. And it's like, boy, I miss, miss those days when I could just go and... And um, just sit down and <laughs> eat, you know. And I agree with you, Elaine. I'd be nice to be fully fun of the schools anyway. Um, supermarkets get out school vouchers. That's interesting. How did you feel after walking around Jungle Gyms for a little uh, three and a half hours? It was, um, I think, just the drive there was two hours, and then you walked around for hours, and then the drive back two hours, and then uh, it just. It, we were exhausted. We yeah. were tired. You I mean, know what? The walking around is not nearly as no. bad for me as the sitting, sitting in, the in the car driving for that long. The two That's why I don't like to drive a lot is I just don't like to sit in the car that long. Yeah. My back gets stiff. My arms, my shoulders it, get stiff. Uh, it didn't bother either one of us much at all walking around for that amount Which, of time. If you think about it, it's kind of ridiculous because I sit at the computer. I can sit at the computer for eight hours straight and not move. Not even just to go to the bathroom and make a coffee. But I can't sit in a car, which is a nice padded seat. But you're you know, sitting, like, you're, but you're also the same way, yeah. your legs the same way. And you're, and you're stressed a little bit because you're in traffic. And yeah, I, yeah, I agree. We There is one Chinese restaurant in town and maybe two, but we just, we've just we never, we've we never been to the Chinese. We very much in this town. We, we usually just no. go to the next town. I mean, I know Chinese restaurants are really popular in uh, in other places but around around here and we, I don't know even if we live in a bigger town I don't know that we would order Chinese takeout and eat it so right uh, Mish Mish said my shirt would be cute with some white jeans I, I, probably I'm telling you she needs like a little sailor thing the little thing in the back with the little bow the little ribbon around the front uh, no she's kind of, Ashley said the, she said the shirt looked better on me than it did on her she didn't like it you must have skipped four. when she put it on herself sorry yeah uh, what's your favorite chain restaurant? Oh, I did skip forward. I'm sorry. My favorite chain restaurant, probably. Um, um, if I'm gonna, uh, are we talking about sit down food? Either way. If it's sit down food, probably Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Right. That's what I was gonna say too. Yeah. Texas if I change Road- it up, probably Cheddar's. Texas or- Roadhouse has, has always been really good. Um, and in fast food, I would say Chick Fil A. Um, see, I'd probably say like Culver's or something like that. I love Lebanese food, Chi Chi's, uh, the big sombreros. Yeah, we were talking about the Chipotle. Uh, and then I read these comments. Your mom was so pretty, Jean. Thank you very much. This is my second channel. My other channel. Oh, okay. Where where we go? Do you restaurants everywhere? Oh, really? In Georgia? Huh. I would not have thought that. Is Guido awake yet? No. Guido will <laughs> probably sleep for a while. Guido... Yeah, that's, that's Guido's life. Yeah, he's 90% of the time. Um, bye, Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still going to mention that. We're going to talk about it in just a minute. A big brother. Ashley's new haircut made her look like she belonged in a hair commercial. Thank you, Lisa. I forgot to turn, turn in, tune in until just now. Yeah, we're not going to be doing this every single week. I wanted to, to say that. Um, you know, this week I did do it because we I had so many requests. But I'm not going to be doing it every single week just because I do think it will get old. I think you all, I think you, you, will get, you would get tired of it. So, I will... If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, I'll put something like I did today. I put, there will be a dinner with the Duns. Then I'll try to put an announcement like that if we'll be doing it. Uh, but I don't, we, I'm not going to say we're going to do it next week because I don't know. I mean, we might, we might feel like it, but we might yeah. not. It just, it just depends on what's going on. And John, I agree with you. Six hours cooking on Thanksgiving is pretty tough. Um, 
we usually try to cook some things the night before, do as much as we can yes. the night before, and then do the rest of it the next day. And I do all most of the dishes too. I'll, I always have, even ever since we've been coming over for Thanksgiving, I've done dishes. Oh, yeah, Kevin always. I don't does. mind doing dishes. Now my back starts hurting after a while because you're standing there for so long. But um, pickle juice slushy, that was it was interesting. I didn't think I didn't think it was bad, but I had an LA for the first time the other day and thought of you guys. I enjoyed it, but the Kroger I purchased it from is going out of business. Oh huh. wow! Yeah, you notice the bore more when you're driving. I agree. Um, do you want to talk about Big Brother real quick? Does Tammy ever drive? I drive, I can drive uh, Dr. J whenever I want to. It's yeah, just that. I don't care if she drives. He doesn't care <laughs> if I drive at all. However, it, the, the, the seat is already in Ke the position for Kevin's body. If I get in, I have to move it. Up, down, forward, all that. The mirror, all the mirrors. The mirror is adjusted for Kevin. So, if I want to just drive to Walmart or something, then I have to readjust all that. And it's not like it's a huge deal, but it's like, why bother? And if I can have a chauffeur, I mean, why would you ever? It's like, if I could afford to have somebody just all the time, uh, and, you know, I have him all the time. I have my own chauffeur, you know, so yet I can drive. I just, there's just no point. I mean... Uh, and I try every time I do drive. I'm like, can you vlog me? Can you film me driving? Because people don't believe, <laughs> people that, don't believe, people that, don't believe that I drive. Um, She's a horrible driver, by the way. Um, you're just saying that. You don't believe that. She, do you believe that? No, I don't believe that. Okay, because I was going to grab I don't you. believe she's a bad driver, but she does the exact same things I do that she complains about. She yeah, complains but, about me doing things, and but she does the but exact I'm same thing. I'm in control. That's right. So it's like, <laughs> don't do that. It's like, you do it too. What are you crazy? Um, we don't have any vegan restaurants that I know of that are strictly vegan. Um, like you said, places there are places that sell vegan items on their menus, but, but I don't know of any vegan. Just vegan? Yeah, I don't know of any. I mean, there might be. There might be, here. but we wouldn't pay attention to them because yeah. that's not us. You know, that's, we yeah. just wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I'm sure there are places, but I wouldn't even notice it. Um, is there any way you could put out a monthly schedule? Haley, I just don't know when I'm going to do it. I don't want to promise you all anything. So um, I will just try to let you know. And, and if you can't be here, then you can watch it the next day, hopefully. Um, Allie, thank you. Thank you for catching us live for the first time. What's your time. guys' favorite snack? We uh, Mine changes all the time. When we're being bad, when we have gummies in the house, we're really, really bad. Gummies. But see, we ice like cream. Do, I mean. I, yeah, but a snack. I, ice cream is a snack. Oh, you're talking about a night. <laughs> I was thinking no, more of a. Ice cream's a snack. It can be a quick snack. It can be a long snack. It can be any snack. It can be a meal. It can be breakfast. <laughs> hey, I've sat here and eaten a Halo top for dinner, so you don't have to tell me. I scream <laughs> just this all around. That reminds me, Zach was saying he finally found the movie night enlightened. And I hope he likes it yeah. because I like it a lot. And, and like I've said before, I'll get it frozen and I'll just chip away at it so that it lasts me like t at least 20 minutes. Um, so let's see. Thank you. I'm glad you like the uh, What I Ate Wednesday. Thai, I've had Thai, thai food before, but it's been frozen foods. Uh, yeah, he's just saying they don't really have anything around here, that we don't have anything around here. I have not eaten out lately. I don't. When's the last time I ate out? I don't know, because even when we went to uh, Jungle Gents, we didn't eat out. We came home and ate. Yeah, we, we went. We literally went and came back. And came um, back home. I don't know. I don't either because I've been in the car with Kevin a couple of times during his lunchtime review. I know we've gotten, he's gone places, but I don't eat out. We've gotten I've, fries at like Culver's before while we've been. Yeah, we'll go, but It's been a long. That's even that's been a long time ago. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I ate. Out. Your retro video was creative, very creative, um, and believe it or not, that's really what you look like. 
She had that hair bumper going on. I did. He calls it the bumper. I really did have a bumper. That was so if you ran into a wall, you wouldn't bump your nose. He's a turd. Um, mm. Kevin does dishes. Kevin, I don't mind doing dishes. Kevin, I do dishes. I did dishes last night. <laughs> Jane, Kevin is what every woman wants in a man. I, I, I think. I, I, you know, unless you ask my sister, she wants a different kind of man. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, Kevin is nice and sweet and giving and loving, and that you know he he does do the dishes. I think it will. <laughs> is Kevin still liking his car? I love my car. Everyone thinks everyone else is a bad driver. You got that right. You know what though? Honestly, when I'm when Tammy does drive, I don't care. I mean. It, if she wrecks, she wrecks. You know, it's like, I mean, I don't say anything. I don't, I don't tense up and put my third brake on or. Valerie, you know. we normally stop at about uh, five or 10 minutes till eight. But if you have to go, you can always watch this tomorrow. It'll be up tomorrow. Yeah. And, and yeah. Give it, if you want to watch it, uh, the replay, um, give it a, give it till tomorrow morning before it really. When I was done, uh, when I watched Big Brother. I think youth is wasted on the young. Ain't that the truth? So, Big Brother, do you want to talk a little bit about Big Brother? No one's really asked us hey, anything yeah. about Pixie Big Brother. said Disney Dining Plan says ice cream is a snack. That's right. Ice cream is a snack. It's also a meal. Um, yeah, we've got a couple who asked us what we think about Big Brother. Yes, we did a video on Hydrox. You can search my channel. Are those cookies? Yeah, they're like Oreos. We've, do we've done a video well, on them. They're, they're shaped like Oreos. <laughs> they're shaped like Oreos. <laughs> Um, okay, we can talk about Dairy Big Queen is my dinner. Ice cream. For I like breakfast. a I like yeah. a good blizzard. I haven't had a really I haven't had a blizzard since with just the review one. We did the reviews. But yeah. as far as this like me going out and saying, Ooh, I want a blizzard and just going getting one, I haven't done that in ages. Are you guys years. planning any fun trips? I was just watching your videos from your UK trip a couple weeks ago and I really enjoyed them. Uh, we're not going on a trip anytime real soon. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, nothing, uh, nothing has, is in the works. Try P.F. Chang's. Kevin has tried the P.F. Chang's meals the frozen uh, on his Lunchtime Review channel. Yeah, the only P.F. Chang's they have in Lexington is near the mall. Is that the one in the mall? That's the one yeah. at that mall. Yeah. Have you ever showed your parents in a video? Peach, I sent you a reply to this question. You asked this on a video and I actually sent you the links. That yes, I've shown my dad here. Yes, I've shown my mom here. Uh, actually, I didn't know you had asked about Kevin's. I don't think you asked about Kevin's parents in that uh, comment. We have shown Kevin's parents, but I didn't link to that because I didn't know you were talking about them. Yes, they are in some. If you work your way through the vlogs, they're in there. Kyle, thank you for the donation of ten dollars. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. That didn't. It hasn't shown up on right here. There. Where? Oh, yeah. thank you very much. Hydrox actually predates Oreos and Nabisco did a knockoff. Well. Well, they're all, if you know, truth be told, I don't really like regular Oreos that much. <laughs> regular Oreos. They're kind of bitter and too hard. bitter chocolate. We never buy regular Oreos. Yeah. Now, when we, I was a kid, I wouldn't have thought that. We but always like the special ones. Yeah. Okay. Ice cream's a veggie. That's right. Ice cream is a veggie. Lenny, it's not in the food court of the mall. It's actually P.F. Chang's. It's actually a really nice it's restaurant. A, it's a restaurant like attached it's to the mall. located at the mall, just like we have a cheesecake factory. But it's located at the mall. But yeah. it's a restaurant all by itself. It's not at the food court. Speaking of the mall, did you hear that they shut down the food court? I was just talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Sketch. And then a whole Chick-fil-A closed down because all the employees called in and they said, no, no, no. Was it a yeah. different? One? It was at the mall. It was the one at the mall. Oh, Chick fil A yeah, at the yeah. mall. Terrifying. Somebody wanted to say hi to you. Hi. So, what did you think of Sam on Big Brother? Um, okay, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about when Sam got head of household. Oh, she, she was snarky, said, wasn't she? She said, I know who I'm voting for. You're not going to, I know who I'm putting up for eviction. You're not going to change my mind. There's not going to be these little one-on-one -on -one talks. This is going to be my room, and I don't want you all in here. I want it to myself. <laughs> and I'm going to be 100% honest. 
I have always, throughout every season of Big Brother, I've always wanted somebody to do that. Always. Because it would be how I would feel like being. Now, I know Kevin said that's not good gameplay. But no, I, it's not smart for her game. It's not either. smart for her game. But I've always, I would feel that way. It would be like, this is my room. I don't want you in my room. I want to be alone. You all are, you know, you're petty and you try to start stuff with each other and you want to lay all up in my bed with your nasty feet and all that. I, I would want the room. I would want it to myself. That's how, how I would want it. He come visit. So the, the, at nighttime, let me go to sleep. Go I lie. think it was bad for her gameplay, but I love it that she oh, yeah, did I love it. I totally I like love her it that too. she did it. She is ballsy, and um, I, I, I could listen to her talk all day long. I love her voice. Uh, it, it has not gotten old to me yet, and I still think she would make the perfect cartoon character. Uh, she has the best voice uh, on oh, the I show. Think if you just listen to her voice, it's hilarious. Lenny, we, we might still try um, PF Changs. It's just we don't have a problem going to the mall and trying anything. Um, it's just we just don't we don't eat out that much. We don't eat out that much and when we eat out, we like to eat things that we really, really like. Yeah. We like to eat our favorite foods. Now, you know, if you have an Not order, something brand new. Well, not even that. If you have an order of, the, okay, my favorite food is steak, and my second favorite food is pizza, and I'm just saying this, my third favorite food is Mexican, then why would we choose to visit someplace that might be eighth on the list when we can visit someplace that might be second on Especially the list? Especially when we don't go out all the time. Yeah, so because if you don't go out all the time, then you want to eat some place that you really, yeah. really like. That's why we don't eat a lot of Asian food. It's because it might be number five on the list, where, and we would rather have something at number two or number one on the list since we're paying all that money for it. Right. Does that, I hope that makes sense. Yeah. And and I have had their frozen dinners, and they're all been very, very he good. They're them. excellent. He excellent loves food. the P.F. Chang. That's what I'm saying. Things. I wouldn't have a problem eating there at all because it's all good, but... Um, I saw the video of Andrew opening Christmas presents yesterday. I think it was from 1994. Gavin resembles him so he looks much. A lot like it him. impressed me how grateful and excited he was about every single gift. Yeah, he's always been appreciative of his gifts. And he is. Uh, he still is. Gavin is is just oh, like Andrew. They look just alike. Yes. Um, I don't respond to all my comments on lunchtime reviews because I just don't have time to just go through them all. I truly don't. Kevin reads them all. He yeah, does I read, read them, them all. and then occasionally, if there's something that really like needs to be addressed, I'll, I'll say something. But for the most part, it's it's you know I greatly appreciate any and all comments and people watching. I just I just I truly just don't have time. Ashley, I, I doubt Ashley will ever post videos to her YouTube channel. She, I have told her before. I've I've said Ashley, you people really like you, and they would like to see you. And she just, she's not ready. I don't think she would want to be judged in any way, you know. And sometimes, for the most part, 98% of my comments are fantastic. But I do get people who are very judgmental. And sometimes people just don't know how to say things. So it's one of those things that you text it and people don't know how to take it because they're not hearing it. So I get comments sometimes, and they sound like these people are really having an attitude. And I'm thinking, maybe the people really don't have an attitude. Maybe I'm just reading an attitude into it. But I don't think she's ready to deal with all that. See, I can deal with all that uh, because I'm old. Uh, but she she's not ready to deal with all that yet. Uh, pecan pies is also a food group. I agree with you, Jean. Yeah. Um, go to places you love. Kevin, I thought of you at work yesterday. Yvonne said uh, her husband's a nightmare to go shopping with. Yvonne said that? My husband, my husband, my hubby is a nightmare to go shopping. I buy all his clothes for him and I've told him, if you don't like me. If you don't take me food shopping, shopping we don't eat. Yeah. I don't mind going shopping. Um, yeah, sweetie. Sweetie, honey. And I was sitting there. It's a sh I think she, and it didn't even sound normal coming out of her her mouth. So she was making. Some people good. have no idea what we're talking about right now. Kevin did a lunchtime review, 
and he went to Sonic, and he went to the Sonic that's in our town. Um, but the girl called him like sweetie several times, sweetheart, and all this other. And it didn't even, it sounded more like she was forcing herself to say it. But when Kevin pulled off, he told everybody on that video, he said, I hate it. I hate it when people call me. I don't like it either. I don't like honey. I used to work with a girl that did that too. Sugar. What was that that uh, Mike used to say? Young lady. Young lady. Young lady. Yeah, but he was being a jerk. Yeah, but I don't know. I think. I I used to work with a girl at Bob Evans, one of the uh, waitresses there. And she did that to everybody, and it was constantly all day long. Absolutely, I had to hear this. and I think that's that. why I think that's what turned me off. From is hearing her all day long. And say some it. people try to say, "Oh, it's a southern thing." Uh, and no, nobody wants you know, to be called. I'm glad and she's sugar, and I'm glad sugar. she's being nice. I'm glad they're being nice, but they're, you can be nice without saying all that. You can. You can be really nice and polite anyway. without saying any of that. Um, the Gilroy garlic fries. Uh, is it? Uh, oh, at McDonald's. I don't, I don't know. I went to McDonald's once. I probably won't go back for a little while because I like to go to different places. I, if I go back there, I'll, I'll see if I can get those. Um, yeah, local Chinese cost a lot less. Um, what was the video title oh of Andrew in 94 if I, you did a search for Christmas I'm sure I you have all the it. Christmas videos under a playlist and uh, I, they're in order so it would have been one of the first ones that, that that's up there uh, I've enjoyed Ashley's old blogs found some inspiration oh oh John I, I don't think I, uh, I don't remember you telling me that about your girlfriend. Uh, forgive me, forgive me if you've told me that, but I do not remember you telling me about your girlfriend. Uh, so, um, that's horrible and I'm sorry you've had to deal with that. Um, there used to be a man. Uh, you reminded me of something. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Okay. Should I tell the story or should I not tell the story? I don't know. Because once I've told it, it's out there. No, I don't think you should. You don't think I should tell it? There was a a man that was a greeter at Walmart. He would call all little girls princes. We'll just leave it. Yeah. That's what they reminded me of. That's what it reminded me of. Princess. Um, Good night, hun, sugar, sweetie, honey, boo boo. McCuticans. Yeah. John said it was kind of creepy with all the sweetness and honey. Yeah, and she was young. She was really young. Kevin was like, no. Mishmish said, when I was in Tennessee, a lot of the waitresses would call me love. That's weird. Love? I've never been called that. I would not like that. Love? Mm. I can't imagine that. Love? Would you like some more tea, love? I can't even. All right, let's talk about Big Brother real quick. But nobody asked about Big Brother. Yeah, but the people that did ask me, me have to leave because it was way back that they asked. Well, I don't know what what else there is to say. What I want to say is, who's your favorite? Oh. Who? I like Sam still. Um, I like Tyler. I like Tyler. I was going to say, I really like Tyler. Um... Those Bailey's two. okay. Those two. Bailey's okay. I don't mind her. I don't mind Rachel, but I don't see her winning the game. No. I don't mind. Oh, I don't Rachel. think Sam will win either. But I like. I think I like. Caitlin's okay. She's a I little off there. I think Tyler has a really good chance to win this game. I think he's going to end up doing something stupid. Do you? Mm-hmm. I think he's very manipulative. I think he works both sides, and that probably will end up He'll getting end up him getting in trouble because he's going to slip up. Um, but uh, yeah, I like Bailey. I like Rachel. I like Bailey, but I don't think they'll win the game. Uh, they haven't shown much. I don't think of Casey at all. I think you know she's just kind of um, living there. Um, JC, somebody told me that, now you have to understand, Kevin and I don't watch any of the live shows. Right. So, we are only judging by what we have seen, not by what you all might know 
from what you've seen. Uh, so I heard that JC was actually really inappropriate sometimes, that he, um, they said that he, I think they said there was touching involved, the inappropriate touching maybe, or inappropriate uh, talk. And um, so, yeah, which, you know, and Brett, I just don't, there must be something that people are seeing in Brett, that uh, the, the house guests, for them to vote out Winston and keep Brett, I just, I, although Winston really acted like a jerk. When, when, um, uh, when Winston and Brett went up for eviction, Winston really surprised me because I think he shot himself in the foot. I think if he had been nicer and been calmer, maybe he would have stayed and maybe Brett would have gone. Um, I don't know why he acted like that. Kevin is posting links. Christmas, 1997. Uh, talk Big Brother, love Sam. What would you, what else do you all want to talk about Big Brother? Because I've got the people in front of me. Um, I think Scotty, uh, Scotty still seems uh, like a bit of a, he's different. I don't mind him, but he's different. Um, I'll give I you think, one more, one more link. I think Caitlin, I like Caitlin, but then uh, Caitlin is so different from me. Uh, I mean, I can see myself talking to her, but she, um, uh, I think she believes in a lot of things that I just don't believe in. So she's different in that way. I never mentioned it. Still new to your channel. I slip up every once in a while talking. Oh, oh his girlfriend. Yeah. Well, John, when you get to know me better, I would like to know um, more about that. When you feel like you can trust me. Have you seen Ready Player One? Yes, I said in this week's vlog, in Monday's vlog, we, um, I think it was a Monday's vlog, we watched Ready Player One, and we both really enjoyed it. And my favorite part of the entire movie was when that guy went around the corner, and those two little girls from The Shining said, come play with us, or yeah, whatever Oh, sorry. Well, uh, they've seen it, haven't you? I loved it. Loved that part. That's all the Christmas videos I'll, I'll put up there. But just know, all I did was go to the go to the channel and click on the magnifying glass. I literally just typed in Christmas, and that's what the, there's a long list. I just kind of looked through them all. Um, Guido is awake, and I'm trying to come here. He's a stinker. Oh gosh, you're so freaking heavy. Oh, can they see? Oh yeah, you can see. And guess what? I'm going to get hair all over Ashley's shirt. And I'm going to hang it back up in the closet. He's waking up because he knows it's a snack time. Uh, yeah, it's almost 8 o'clock, so he wants one of his sticks. Uh, good night, Yvonne. Thank you so much for, for coming in. It's still 67 and not much sleep time. Yeah, I know. You all are going through a heat wave in the United Kingdom. Um, how's your bee sting? It is fine. It just feels like a bruise. Oh, Ashley brought Guido his stick. Oh, you got a break. He can't see you. Yeah. He definitely can't hear you. There he goes. Um, Vaughn said, oh, this is really Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, John, you one of these days. <laughs> You're welcome, John. Hi, Guido. You, the the kids are very, very, actually... Um, 90, did I post one for 94? 94. Ashley wasn't around. It was just Andrew. No, Ashley wasn't born until 96. And then I did a 90. 97. Yeah, 97 and another 90, a 96. Um, she would have been like six months old. So, yeah. It was 117 degrees here the other day. Wow. I bet it was. I've been called babe, baby by some female customers. It was weird. Next time I come in, Brian, I'm going to call you baby dog. Or I'm going to call you babe. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call you sweetie. Come on, say, how you doing, hey, sweetie? Hey, where are those honey crisp apples, sweetie? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't think Brian, coming from he you, wouldn't, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't care. He wouldn't think, 
Brian Kentucky Duke 75, that's who I'm talking to, is the absolute sweetest guy. He is. He's very nice. He is awesome. He's the sweetest guy that you'll ever meet. He is awesome, and so he would not blink if we called him sweetie. Do you like Dwayne Johnson as an actor? The Rock? Yeah, yes. I mean, I, is he the best actor in the world? No. Um, Ashley, <laughs> I do like him. Ashley went to see his new movie with my dad. What is it called? The one with the building. The skyscraper building? Oh, skyscraper. Is that the name of it? Yeah. Okay, skyscraper. And she found it humorous because... <laughs> he's hanging on. She said he's hanging on to the outside of this building with duct tape, with around, duct his tape around his hands and his feet. And she said, "You literally hear the sounds." The uh, how does she make the sounds? <laughs> and she thought it was hilarious that he's hanging on to the side of this building with duct tape. And so they walk out of the movie. They get in the car, and my dad's like. That had some great, great that effects. Was, that was great. It? Yeah, that was great. And as yeah, she enjoyed going. But let me tell you something else. Ashley's never seen Die Hard, and I did not. Yeah, realize we didn't that. know that until she came back. We're we like, are huge Die Hard fans. I love Die Hard. I have seen that movie so many times. I love them all. Uh, the one with Samuel L. Jackson was epic, and I love Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is he's uh, great. He, he's awesome. I love him. And so I have told Ashley, you're going to have to sit down and watch all the Die Hard. Yeah, we'll movies. have to sit down with her and watch Because them. that skyscraper movie, they redid Die Hard. Well, you can I, skip I the second I haven't seen one. it. I haven't seen it. But that's what it sounds like. It sounds just like Die Hard. You can skip the second one. The second one, if you're going to watch them, you may as well watch them all. But the second one took place in an airport, and it wasn't as good was, as all the other ones. It was like in Chicago or something. It but, was cold. And but it was just, the story wasn't, I didn't think the, the story, story was wasn't good. as good, but all the other ones are, are awesome. Slavery so Brother UK is in August. That's cool. Yay. Danny said, record me saying that. Hey, yeah. I, get, I get Brian a hug in Kroger. I don't care. What? Me set to call him sweetie. We're the honey Chris. Oh honey yeah, Chris yeah. We give we both give Brian yeah, hugs I don't anytime we see him. What's Die Hard? Oh, it's a movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's a movie. <laughs> yeah Die Hard. Yeah, have is you a not movie. seen Die Hard? Is a, if you have not seen Die Hard, you, you should at least watch that. Mish Mish. You need to at least watch the first one. Um, Mish Mish went to see uh, Mama Mia yesterday. The second the one. The second one. Yeah, and that she has said, to be a chick flick movie. Why? Uh, it just looks like a chick flick movie. I'm not into chick flick movies. I'm really not. Although, I love Still Magnolias. I love Beaches. I'm really, really not a chick flick person, though. Because I'm not into the more of the boy meets girl and then there's love trouble. Story, the love ones. But I like Still Magnolias where it's a bunch of friends. And I like, I guess, Beaches because it's friends. I'm not into the boy meets girl kind of chick flick like, movie. Like, uh, what was that love note or... Notebook. The notebook. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. both watch it. We were both one like, time. we were both like, oh, that kind of that knew where a, that was going. That was a one time movie. You knew where that was going from the very beginning. But no, she went and saw, uh, I guess there's a, the second Mama Mia. I've never seen the first one. And so it is on Netflix. We're going to have to watch it because she said that it's really good. The first Mama Mia? Yeah. But she was with her friend and her mom. And she said both of them were crying at the end of the second one. And, and she's she's filming the screen for me. And they're both. <laughs> be careful. Film, so, you got to be careful filming screens no, out. It was just for, for me privately. No, I'm saying you got to be careful. They'll, they'll throw or, you yeah, out of the they, theater. Yeah, because if they see you doing that, they might think you're trying to copy the movie. Dixie said that she hasn't seen Die Hard either. It's a good movie. It really is. You have to see Die Hard. Oh, my gosh. And Bruce mm. Willis. Bruce Willis is great in the remake of Death Wish. You know, I wanted to watch that. I haven't watched it yet. I didn't even know it was out. Yippee ki um, <laughs> My favorite line, John. Yes. I say it. Yes. Riley, I, if you're in here, thank you for line. subscribing. I don't know if you're in. Yeah, you're in there. Thank you for subscribing. The, I love Matilda. Matilda. You know, we have seen Matilda so many times. I heard a commercial today. Yeah. The Lexington Children's Theater is putting on Matilda here in the next Matilda. month or so. But it's the Lexington Children's Theater. It's fun. I like to support them. 
but it's not it's the not regular like theater, the so it's a little different. Right, it's totally different. Yeah, they're not quite. Uh, Matilda is the best movie from start to finish. I absolutely love that movie. I mean, when they're bringing her home in the ho- from the hospital, and they put her in that. She just put the carrier car, in the back. They the put car. the carrier in the back of the the station wagon, and she she's just, sliding all over. Place. Sliding everywhere. They didn't even buckle her in. Yeah, that's hilarious. That is man. an awesome movie. Alan Rickman. I know. Which one's he? He's the one that died. He's a Snape. He's the bad guy in Die Hard. No, he wasn't the bad guy. Oh, was he the bad guy? Huh. No. What? Yeah. yeah, I guess he was. No, I hadn't thought about it. But yeah, I guess he was. Um, I only watched Die Hard at Christmas. Yeah, because they're all take place at Christmas. Well, but they don't talk about Christmas. They don't. You know, you know it's Christmas. You know it is. But it's I not don't about think Christmas. It's about Christmas at all. It's I don't not about think Christmas. It, but it takes place at Christmas. Yeah. Um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles isn't about Thanksgiving either, but it's a Thanksgiving movie. Oh, yeah. Well, how is it any different? Uh, I hate Mamma Mia. It's a musical. Yeah, but Pixie, I love musicals. I, I really do love musicals. I like some, I like some musicals. Credibles uh, 2, that was, it was a cute movie. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's a good And you movie. know, I started listening to the dad, the guy that plays the dad, Coach. I can't think of his name. Um, Mr. Incredible. I can't think of his name. Anyway, um, I listened to his voice in the second one, and it's like, that doesn't sound anything like what he sounded like in the first one. Because I was literally thinking, did they replace him with somebody else, first to second movie? But they did. It's the same person in both movies. But I don't remember him sounding like that in the first one. So, it was, anyway. I can't think of his name. He played coach. It yeah. Hans. Brewer, yeah. Yeah. I just, I never thought about it, but that is him. You know, I hadn't thought about it. I just don't, uh, yes, Die Hard takes place at Christmas, but I'm I'm going to fight you on this. I think you can watch it any time of year, because when I was, when, Oh yeah, you can watch it. I think you should. I, I, I think if you, uh, I don't want people to wait till Christmas, because if you no, do, watch it. you're going to forget about it. You totally need to watch it uh, now. It, it is time for us to go. Oh, Big Brother's gosh. coming on. Hate favorite movie? It. Who's your favorite actor or actress? Oh, that would be. I don't have really. I love Young Frankenstein because I can almost watch it all. Anytime it comes on, I can sit and watch it. And I find new things in that movie constantly. And Young Frankenstein? Yeah, hilarious. things that, that you didn't catch on yeah. to. If you've never seen Young Frankenstein, it's old and it's cheesy. Gene Wilder. But it is absolutely hilarious. Gene and, Wilder. I love Gene Wilder. And Money Pit is a good, typical 80s movie, but it's hilarious. I'll, speaking of Money Pit, I like Tom Hanks. I Tom like Hanks, to, yeah. Tom Hanks is probably one of my Truman now. Show. I would like to see that again. We've only seen that one Now that time. I'm a little older. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't talk a lot about uh, Big Brother, and that's because there weren't Who's a lot of up? specific questions. Who's up right now I for don't, eviction? Uh, um, she hasn't said, has she? Oh, no. Yeah, she, she did. Yeah, she put two people up. She it did. Was a girl. She put... Um, Caitlin... Did you uh, no, see? I don't remember. See, I don't even remember who Sam <laughs> put up. Sam put somebody up on Sunday, and we can't even remember. Can we film what well, it looks like with dinner with the Duns? Didn't you do my setup on a blog one time? Can you film how it looks when you do dinner with the Duns? Yes, uh, I have shown that during a uh, blog before. I've shown like this is behind the scenes. And and I was it, just sitting there, and it wouldn't have been that you know it wouldn't have been that long ago because we've only done so many dinner with the Duns. So it would have been in one of the vlogs that came out like afterwards. Like we do dinner with the Duns on Wednesday. It would have been a vlog that came out that Monday or the Monday after. So if you are working your way through the vlogs, then you'll see it. So. We appreciate you guys being here as always. Greatly appreciate you coming in and, and spending time with us. Caitlin and, and Haley. Us. Caitlin and Haley. Caitlin. And Haley are up for eviction. Okay. Yeah, Haley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, Haley, I think, is a chameleon. And it might be wrong of me to say this, but she looks so, she has so many different looks about her. She does. She can look completely different. She can. She can look next. like, if she puts a certain makeup on or does her hair in a certain way, she can look like a totally different person because at first I was seeing her picture on uh, the computer and it's like, who is that girl? I don't even know who that chick is. It's because when she's not wearing makeup and she has her hair back, it doesn't even look like the same person. So 
Anyway, we're going to go. Um, it is a time. Uh, if you have any additional questions about Big Brother, uh, then... Um, I need to see what I was at. <laughs> it was he over there? Yeah. No, you can't sing. Yeah, his little head's right there. Really? Yeah, right there. Oh, you all... Okay. Because <laughs> she said pick Guido up. You can see him by, by oh, behind you. But. Um, yeah, if you all have any specific questions, we can answer them. But since nobody asked any really specific questions, we just told you what we were think what we were thinking this time. So if you have any questions, if you're watching this the next day, you can leave questions below in the comments. Thank you so much to everyone who came in, and uh, thank you all for being so dedicated. And uh, we, I'll let you know if we're going to be here next week. Then I'll send out some kind of a memo. Yeah. Good night, everybody. So, bye.